But this is not the thing about the government, because the government is evil and gonna stay that way. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It's not them. But how does the people allow it? <laughs> now, this even worse. We got a church on every corner. And a liquor store. Liquor store on every corner. Look at this, look at this. We got a church on every corner in the United States. The doctrine is that shall not kill. Mm -hmm. And you somehow manage in your history of colonization and the history of the 20th century when you're supposed to be an upper mobile people and still fight wars. But, nevertheless, this is the millennium. You got a church on every corner. But this time you got a mosque, more mosque than you had 30 years ago. Mm -hmm. And this is a war that's going to fight against Islamic people. And yet there's no clergy people in the United States jumps up and opposes the war. At all? About nothing? About nothing. But, this is interesting. Because this also goes back into that preacher is getting paid. It's a step of stroke because Bush, the first thing he did when he got in the office, faith, faith. it gave him the faith base initiative. Found. And every single church that you know what they're really about, are they about money or are they about preaching a doctrine that's supposed to be about moralism? If you want to say that, mm -hmm. or righteousness, why is it that every single organization, mosque, synagogue, you understand what I'm saying? All of them chose not to speak out it's because they got paid off. Mm -hmm. And let you know how much your doggone religion is really worth. It's only expedient based on what kind of money you get. Right. See what I'm saying? So, this shows you the kind of mentality to try to think of what we really deal with. Oh yeah, we love Jesus. Mm -hmm. We love the Lord. And we love the Lord. <laughs> but that go out the door when homeboy is paying the money. Mm -hmm. and we'll send our children to war and get killed mm -hmm. so we can keep this goddamn check. Mm -hmm. I shall not kill. But not only that I shall not kill, it's not a matter of somebody over there on another part of the world, two people fighting that don't live in this country, and you oppose them. No, your own children are going to fight. Mm -hmm. And not only do you not say anything, you send them off with a blessing of the so-called Lord. Mm -hmm. You sanction it through the religion. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. uh, you know, so here goes again, I want to ask all the black Christians, because they claim they love Jesus, love Jesus so much. How is it that the black Christians didn't stand up? You don't have to have no preacher guiding you. You must ask yourself as an individual. Your own conscience. Your own conscience. Your own heart. Your own conscience. You know what I'm saying? But it goes to show you this. Um, does it mean that every protest we have in this country is devised by somebody else? Because obviously we don't never do nothing unless somebody rallies us to do it. Right. But my point is, where's the own consciousness? And my point here is, if you say you love Jesus so much, you quit to point out Jesus to every individual you meet. Why, all of a sudden, you suspend that? You know what I'm saying? You see people, you beat them. How you doing? Oh, he's blessed. I'm blessed. Yeah. He's truly to be praised. I didn't ask you about your religious standing. Yeah. I asked how the fuck were you, uh, uh, you know, in a basic thing. Oh, I'm blessed. He's truly blue. He's truly to be. He's truly worthy to be praised. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> now, you make it a point to know that you are Jesus man, oh, Jesus mother. religious, all this here, but not a wrong. And now all of a sudden, you suspend all of that.